Hi guys and welcome to the grand unboxing of the Tika 6.5 Creedmoor. I am your host Quad God and this is your co-host. <laughs> My co -host. We don't know his true identity, okay? We don't know his true identity, but he goes by Bob Champ. I go by many, very many names. <laughs> he goes by many names. One of them, Bob Champ. Yes. Uh, here, I'm gonna take this back from you now. Oh, <laughs> I just you just gave that to Did me. You? I just, I'm setting I, it over here. Okay. So that you don't blow us up on accident. All right. I get to play with the rockets. I okay. think uh, it's either a rocket to symbolize, you know, the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, or it's just a really large bullet. It's, it could be a very large bullet. It's a heat-seeking bullet. Heat-seeking bullet. Um, I'm not really sure where to put it here. Yeah. Let's put it over anywhere. Here. Okay, cool. So, we are unboxing the Tika 6.5 Creedmoor, a high-powered, precision sniper rifle. I just spit. I'm so excited. Where did we put this thing? Where Where is it? Oh, did, okay. Did, it's right over here. Did oh, Did you requisition one? Yes. I'm going how, how to did, open the box. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? How, how'd you get? How, you, you didn't explain to me. How did you even come up back by, by this thing anyway? Okay. So, where'd you get this? So, I requisitioned this Tika 6.5 Creedmoor uh, from the requisition department over at LaunchCode TV. I told everyone it's a gift from LaunchCode TV to me, but really, though, I, I requisitioned it um, by sending in some paperwork. I filled out some paperwork. So, I, I wait a minute. So, so launch code requested TV. Requested it from you, the department. You like filled out a requisition request and sent mm -hmm. it what? Like the procurement department. I didn't even know we had a procurement department. But okay, you sent yeah, it. Yeah, we have a. And, and then they just gave you one? Yeah. Is that, is how that would all you, you not have to know? do? Bob Champ, how do you not know about this? I don't know about this. This is pretty amazing. So, you just put a requisition in and you, and you get a sniper rifle. Yes. That, well, that doesn't okay. even sound possible. So, H how did you. How do, the, how do you convince them to do that? Okay. So, First, I requisitioned a Lamborghini Huracan. As you all know, I love Lambos. The Huracan's my favorite. It's super adorable, and I effing love it. Uh, I, re I requisitioned it, and they denied my request, and I was very... Well, damn right they should. Sad. Damn right they should. What do you mean, damn right they you should? You just don't go requisitioning Lamborghinis. Yeah, but... yeah you do. <laughs> How else are you going to get it? And they said no. So, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. What's the Lamborghini have to do with a sniper rifle again? Okay. You, you requisitioned well, a Lamborghini hold on, hold on, hold on. and they said no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I requisitioned a Lamborghini Huracan. Yeah. They denied it. So I thought about it. I thought about the reason for the denial. It said not applicable for Launch Code TV work and associates. Well, that makes sense. And I decided, okay, well, my stapler is broken. I'll request a new stapler. So I sent in a requisition request for a stapler. Yeah. And, uh, and it came in the mail, and I was very pleased to see that the requisition request did, in fact, work when you need a stapler, for instance. So, to get a sniper rifle, you first ask for a Lamborghini, mm -hmm. then you get a stapler. Yeah. Is that right? You That's get a right. stapler. Uh-huh. And I still, I'm still a little lost here. How do you get from stapler to sniper rifle? Okay. So, this is the bottom line, guys. Bottom line. I said, uh, okay. Where does a Tika fit into my work here? It's obviously a hole punch. A hole punch. Yeah. So I said a that I wanted is, a, a rifle Tika. is a hole punch. I said I want a Tika 6.5 Creedmoor hole punch <laughs> at, in my requisition oh, request. Oh, so you're rationalizing <laughs> it since a precision sniper rifle punches holes in people. Uh -huh. That, therefore, it's a hole puncher. That's right. And that's what you filled out? Uh-huh. And they and they sent you uh -huh. a sniper rifle. That's right. A hole punch. That's right. Okay. No. And 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 just like a stapler, you know, has ammo. You, you just that those are the hole punch units. I mean, I've never used a stapler to sh to punch holes. That's ridiculous. But that's what the Tico is so, for. So you mean to tell me that if I wanted to requisition a bunch of stuff, uh huh, that all you got to do is fill out a form uh -huh. and make it sound relevant, and they send it to you. Is that right? That's right. All right. So let's just say I wanted, um, mm -hmm. I want an airplane. Okay. How, how would you fill out a form to get an airplane? Well, let's think about it. Airplane has wings, wheels. It's you could requisition a Cessna uh, office fan. How is it an office fan? The propeller. 
blows the air. <laughs> it's refreshing. <laughs> you know, I could even requisition Feel one for this set. I could say, you know, I want some air blowing at me while I'm while you're while you're broadcasting. broadcasting. It gets hot, you know. Yeah. Girls have needs. Yeah. Or maybe so an office fan. It's yeah, a Cessna, office fan. Says an office fan. Yeah. Or, or a hair dryer, maybe. It's even a hair dryer. Hair dryer. Yeah. Well, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. not really office. Okay. That's more like hair and makeup, HM. Okay. okay. All right. So. Well, that that's pretty cool. I so like that. So, hand. all right, let me take one further. Uh, okay. Let's just say I wanted a cabin in the woods. Okay. What would I fill out on a form to get a, to have the company buy cabin in the woods? Well, okay. So, cabin in the woods, maybe, you know, training uh, people need help the people need guidance they're idiots you know the world is full of idiots maybe you requisition it as a uh corporate training facility streamer. some kind of a corporate cabin wait a minute. when we talk about training doing, facility we talk about doing streamer university we could use oh, it for streamer university that's right streamer that university brilliant i like it it's going to be on the lake it'll be up above uh -huh. and so we just fill out the paperwork and say we're launching streamer university uh -huh. we, need, we need a training center Brilliant. And and this is the Streamer University Training Center, mm -hmm. Cabin in the Woods. Right. Exactly. Wow. Right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just say I uh, I, I want a Lamborghini, too. I don't, I don't think it's fair that you get one and I don't get one. So I didn't get one yet. Well, I know. So you you failed. So they, they're on I to you. get one. No, they're on to you. Okay. I haven't filled any paperwork out yet, so I mm -hmm. got a chance now. So I'm going to fill out now for a Lamborghini Huracan. Okay. And... Given that last time you're too honest about it, what 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 should I call this thing? What 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 would get that far? Now that you have all this experience procuring this, um, so I mean, I'm still sort of working out the details, but in my mind, you know, I requisition for an eraser. If you do the same requisition request, maybe an you eraser? could do some kind of a. Uh, you want the Huracan? Yeah. Maybe you could do some kind of a. Like a weather, like we've had a lot of earthquakes like hurricanes, recently, like hurricanes, hurricanes yeah. some kind of a safety facility okay. or some kind of a. Well, hurricane in, in, in Italian means <laughs> hurricane. So some kind of a. Like a weather station. Weather station. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We need a weather station. Like a hurricane, <clears throat> the, the, the El Hurricane weather station know, or weather <clears throat> safety. The new training facility. Uh-huh. The streamer in the universe cabin, training the facility, cabin in the, the, the cabin in the woods, Tahoe. has to have a weather facility. So we we, we know if it's going to get rained or snowed out or something. Okay. So it's a weather station. Yeah. It's okay. A Lamborghini yeah, Huracan. The, the Lamborghini Huracan. Weather station. Weather station. Brilliant. You think that'll fly? So you'll have one, and I'll have one, and then we can race no, my no, 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 my no, no, we no. can race my eraser against no. your weather station. No, this is this is this is my my Huracan. <laughs> yeah. You know they're already onto you. You tried once, they turned it down. When yeah, but I, I did a requisition in, request. I'm going to get mine, I, I, but you're not going to get yours. I requisitioned the Lamborghini Huracan uh, a couple of days ago as an eraser because of the rubber on the tire. Oh, you see. you're going to use it for racing things. That's right. Okay. I'll erase you. Yes. All right. I'm going to erase you. That's Just, what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to race you. I'm going to erase I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to race you. <laughs> That's what I was just saying. Great. Thought, How much? Yeah. What are we betting? All right. I bet I could beat you in a Lamborghini Huracan race. Uh, I bet a thousand dollars. Uh, okay, you're on. <clears throat> now we just have to go get ourselves a couple Huracans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Huracans. Okay, there it no. is. Tico. That's exciting. So, I am going to unbox so the hell out of thank, this thank, hole punch. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. It's been a wonderful show. <laughs> oh, we're not done yet. No, we didn't even start. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Tika. So yes! okay, that's right. That's right. I lost that's my train right. of thought. We 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 somehow got from oh my from, God. from Tikas to Huracans to staplers. Can someone, can someone get this guy off the Baileys? <laughs> <laughs> to a to a Huracans and and now we're back to Tika. So you, that's right. So you got your Tika. Your yes. hole punch. Mm -hmm. You got your hole puncher. Yep. Okay. That's well, very right good. Over that's right. here. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, I no, have no, to no. go get it. No, no, no. I'll I'll bring it over. Mm -hmm. So you. You want to start with the, 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 the hole six point five creed more hole right. punch. Yes. Okay, hang on, everybody. I I I am the procurer of the boxes. We so are here. hanging. We're hanging. Okay, so here we go. Here we 
go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now. There it is. Uh, yeah. Do you want to move your uh, head? No. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, I, I had a little knife around here somewhere for you. Hang on a second. Uh, where'd I do with it? Did I put my little knife? I don't. I lost my little knife. Here's here's my little knife for you. There's I, like there's yeah. like weapons everywhere. This place is just covered in weapons right now. Here we go. I got. I have a and knife. And you're giving me this stupid little M and F and K and I F E right it's, now. It's, it's a nice knife. It's it's a little. What do you mean nice knife? knife? It's it's a knife. That's not a knife. Well, well, what's your idea of a knife? This is a knife. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Then. Okay. Right, so. so we're ready. I'm gonna. I'm gonna open this now. I'm gonna sit back a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Give myself some distance here. Okay, guys. This is it. This, this is, is it. the Tika. This is it. Oh, I'm stuck. This is the Tika 6.5 Creedmoor. I am dying to just open this damn thing right now. Do the damn thing. This is the hole punch. If I nip slip, let me know. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Viewership just skyrocketed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 50,000 people watching. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Hang on. We can, I can open it this way. Oh, yeah. And we can, we can, you lift that up. I'll Give get the box out of your Give me that punch, way. baby. Oh, my God. This is really quite heavy. Okay. There okay. we go. There we I go. I think it's backwards. I'd give you a knife to open that, but you'll make fun of my tiny little mm -hmm. knife again. Okay. I carry a tiny. Doing it. Oh my. Doing it. Gosh, look at doing her. Doing it. She's shredding it. Doing it. Shredding it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tika. Tika. 6.5 for Read More Precision yeah. Rifle. Is this the top? I think this is the top. I don't know. I've never seen this Come before. to Mama. All right. There we go. <gasps> All right, let's, I'm almost let's too excited. Do to the do reveal. This right now. Do the reveal. Do the reveal. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Hold on. There it is. Do the there reveal. it is. Here we there go. There it is. Here we go. And, and... wow, I, I can't see it. Fucking empty. I can't see it. I'm behind the box. Let There's me stand nothing up. Nothing inside. <laughs> Hang on. What happened to my hole punch right now? There's nothing here. Did you order a tea strainer? No. What the fuck? I don't know what the, is that is that what a Creedmoor looks like? I don't know. What the hell is this, you guys? I, I do not know. What is this thing? I honestly I think that's the silencer. I don't Okay, okay so silencer. it looks like so you can make your tea. And <gasps> um Oh. Shit. <laughs> that is filled with silicone. Oh shit. Uh, desica. Uh oh, we've had a chemical spill. Chemical no! spill on set. We're oh, gonna have to we're gonna have to fun. shut down everything. Oh god. And uh okay, so Okay, first of all, there's no gun. So well, actually this is actually really nice. I think this is just what the gun goes in. That's a bait and switch if you ever ask wait, me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You just Did this, you hide my gun? Did you actually you know, I think the per procurement department is uh you know, messing with you. You hid my gun, man. I did no You hid my you, gun. You just opened it in front of everybody. I didn't touch it. I'm don't I, I comprendo. Did not touch that. Okay, so oh, this looks like we're at the beach all over again. Yeah, let's get a little. Bit, okay, so we uh, okay. Uh, hectic, you, switch hectic. switch back to everybody and see what's going on here. Okay. So, uh, yeah. All right. So we seem to have a crisis. We have no crisis. Uh, we have There's a, no as you can gun see. Here. Uh, it it came with a tea strainer. Yeah. And that appears to be what you requisitioned. Are you? Did you sure you filled the paperwork out correctly? Yes, All I right. know I filled it out correctly. Okay. Look, All we right. have more boxes. I know we All have right. more boxes. Okay. This is okay. just the first box. All right. So um, I swore it was in the. I don't know how it's this not thing. closing. <laughs> Ow! It doesn't close <laughs> because we just poured a whole bunch of little beads oh, everywhere. Oh boy! Boy! <laughs> oh, hang on. I think. It's... Did I requisition this off off eBay on accident? Is that what happened? I don't know how to close this thing. Maybe I requisitioned I it off of eBay. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's a nice box. But yeah, great. Maybe, maybe someday when you do beautiful get, effing it would be it box. would be like uh, when you get your uh, when you get your eraser, your Huracan eraser. You get, what are they going to do? Deliver you a garage? Maybe they're going to deliver me a a cover, 
Okay. A, a little well, garage. All right. So that was fun. So uh, was again, fun. thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, <laughs> that was the Tika. That tika. wasn't even the Tika. That and we got little beads all over the, the I table know, here. Destroyed. I'm this totally is... messed up. Okay. Everything. So, um, uh, what do we do now? Uh, uh, I mean, we. Well, should we talk about gun safety? Oh yeah, guns. Yeah, yeah guns. I so, feel like so eventually, as I try and find where the Tika is. Uh, uh, so we're gonna have to look around we and see what we can out. find out. But but um, I. You, clearly, when we do have real guns that come out on the table here, which I, I hope at some point we do, <laughs> hole punchers or whatever we're going to call them, uh, we have to, uh, first of all, take a break to sponsor <laughs> Crystal Geyser Water, <laughs> the brand that does not sponsor Launchco TV. So we will not mention their name ever again until they pay us money. And then when they pay us money, we'll actually drink the product and look like we're enjoying it. Meanwhile, okay? this is generic. Uh, brand tap water and i bet it's tasty compared to this water mm. which tastes like water should i do a blind test a blind test okay you want to do a blind test here we go we're going to do a blind taste test of this expensive national brand versus i kind of liked it oh did you yeah yeah it is better i know but they but i'm not going to say that anyway, until they pass money and sponsor us all right uh back to our program um Gun safety is a very important topic. Yes, and gun since safety. We, we are going to be bringing real uh, hardware out here. Huge. Uh, I want to make sure everybody understands there's a difference between playing with guns in a video game and guns in real life. I think everybody knows that. No one has ever actually been shot mm -hmm. in a video game. I don't know. I, mean, I haven't. You know, virtual reality could I've make that real. I've never been shot in a video game. Can you imagine a device with a game station that actually... Oh, never mind. Um, we need to make sure yes. that when we, when we have guns, that we store them properly. We never point them at people. Never walk around with a loaded gun. You always keep the ammo out until you need it. Never walk with your finger on the trigger. Never walk with never your Never let children like, have un, a gun. Unlike Benicio del Toro in Sicario, never walk around with your finger on the trigger. Trained exactly. actor, guys. <laughs> Trained actor. Yes. Also, um, that's blank. So we don't want but any. But blanks any, can uh, kill you. We don't want any quad god host. Uh, injured in the making of this uh, this uh, broadcast. Any today. of them. So, in all seriousness, gun safety. Quad God one, Quad we, God two, we, Quad we God will, five. We will always practice gun safety when we are around guns. Yes. Uh, because we want to do a series of episodes. That's right. Around this uh, this precision hypothetical precision rifle, which Quad God claims she requisitioned from the company. Yes. But we we she have did. yet to see it. Okay. Um, but you know what? You just can't talk about rifle. Yeah, I mean, it is it isn't a rifle. Yes, it is. No, it's a system. It's a system. You, it, it, it's a precision rifle system, not a rifle. Rifles are rifles. Yeah, you're right. You take the rifle, you put the bullet in it, and then you... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's, a, that's what a rifle system. is. This is a precision Complete. rifle system. And it's composed of a lot of components. You have uh -huh. to have the rifle. You have to have a scope. Uh -huh. You have to have a bipod. Right, the scope. You look down the okay. scope yep. and you go. You have to have a bipod. <laughs> you have to have a, a laser range finder. You have to have a wind meter. You have to have ballistic software. Okay. You, do you have your ballistic software? Uh, look, to, to I have the software rifle, for like software. everything. I have software for, for streaming this live to you guys right now. I've got all kinds of software. Do I have software to put a bullet in the gun and then put the bullet in the target? No. Can you imagine playing a video game and say, stop everybody, I have to pull up my app. <laughs> no, mm. I can't imagine that. Mm. Wind <laughs> is from the northeast Wait, at I take six it back. miles per hour. If you're there, I with, can imagine with it. With 47% humidity today. Thank you, everybody. Please hold <laughs> still. We're still dialing in no the coordinates. No one move. Okay, now we're going to no adjust our gun. It's a system. It's a system. <laughs> no one move. You don't believe me, do you? They're a mile away. They can't hear me. Yeah. No one move. So we don't have a gun. So uh, I guess I can try to see what I can scrounge around and see what else I can come up with. Okay. You know, cheap substitute. What do you mean and, cheap substitute? Um, hang on. Uh, God, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Since it's a system. Okay. Right. The system, right. The system. I Maybe the gun isn't here. Because <laughs> this is part of the system. Oh. So this is what I'll kill you with. A backpack. Yeah. I'll just well, wait kill a you with a backpack. 
<laughs> Brilliant idea. Gonna, I think it's going to work. It's going to work. Uh, no, this is this is what you put your stuff in. So, you know, we, we, we can grab a, uh, if you're just walking around with a rocket, you're taking your okay. rocket for a walk, you can. You can put it in your little to commemorate, backpack. To commemorate the 50th anniversary of yes. Apollo 11, so, you can put your rocket. You, you got to put your bleepity bleep inside the pack because, <laughs> the pack. You, because again, it's a system. There's a lot of junk you're going to get. <laughs> okay. This broadcast is the is the shooting equivalent of Christmas, you understand. And it's all got to go in a backpack. Oh, boy. Hydration compatible. Yeah, so I think that you can put like a hydration pack or maybe even the gun itself, depending on what you With have. With crystal geyser water, it is hydration compatible. <laughs> it is delicious. Mm. You can put maybe, you know, it's like wonderful. a couple of uh, 50 cal bullets in here. Ooh, what yes, do you think? yes, right next to the pencils you requisitioned. Yeah, I don't know about pencils, but maybe that. Well, you got an eraser, you got a stapler, you could put your stapler in there. Maybe a couple of these, you know, mm. just stick these in there. Oh, I don't mm. think the fabric's going to hold no, up, to I be honest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be. Uh, uh, okay, so <laughs> we, we have a system here. Uh, what, what, okay, all right, the first thing in the system, you want to do a precision shot, right? Okay. The, what's the first thing you got to do? Open the stack pack. No, yeah, and then what are you going to pull out of it? Maybe a hanky. Uh, yes. <laughs> And weep your Mr. way to a loss against me. Mr. Ah, I love it. All right, so so let's let's say you, you 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 spot a target and you want to shoot. Put like a computer okay. in here. Uh, your, for your, but ballistic, you need your software. ballistic software. Ballistic software. Um, you have to figure out where something is. Okay, okay. how far is it? So you got a target. Mm -hmm. You're playing Division Two, and yeah. you say, "Stop everybody! I've got to do my calculations." Stop everyone! I do my calculations. You have to figure out how many yards that target is away from. How are you going to do Fair. that? You get. Excuse me, everybody. I'm getting a tape measure. And then you kind that of measure take your too way. Long. That doesn't so, even so, no. That's so, not even a viable option. Try one of these. Okay. Uh, would you like to wear this? Uh, I'll I'll put this on the floor. As you go to school, young man. I will put this someplace where you can load your toys into it. Okay, <laughs> including your rocket. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, we'll have our little rocket sticking out the top here. All right. So we've got an empty box. So far, all we have is an empty box. Like I'm overkilling this plastic right now. Yes. Um. <laughs> okay, so we have the oh the Sig Sauer, uh, twenty four hundred kilo BDX, uh, laser rangefinder. Laser rangefinder. The rangefinder is the first part of the system. Yes, the rangefinder instead of the tape measure. Because you have to know that how actually far makes sense, it Bob is. Camp. How far is it? You uh, can't. You quite. just don't. If something is a thousand yards away, you can't even see it, right? Mm -hmm. So you need a, la a laser rangefinder. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that mm -hmm. uh, that can go here. Yeah. And so Let's people see. can. Uh, it's more more the, the the hot spots right here. There we go. Okay, so we'll we'll move it open, and it looks like it's got a little thingy here. And then there's your laser rangefinder. What is this thing? Uh, that looks like a rangefinder battery. Panasonic. That's the yes. weirdest battery I think I've ever seen. And when you requisition that, it is an energy supply unit. <laughs> and then that's you could how. Just call it a battery. And that's how you would get yourself a. You, you would a requisition what? this a battery. Okay, so there's. It? It's like a. Are we on the closer? Yeah, so this is a. Lithium 3V. It's a laser rangefinder. What you do is CR2 you. CR2 industrial your, lithium battery. Oh, thank you. It's an industrial. Yeah, you are, does it have a charger? Does it have an extension cord? You have to no. take it out in the woods with an extension cord. You, got, you then need a, a generator to go with it. So um, you you look through the eyepiece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look and the that's eyepiece. got a laser pointer. And um, bring it down low or change the view. The broadcast. Hello. Oh yeah. Hello Good everybody. Reading. Hello. <laughs> hello. Out. We're all saying hello. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, what the hell? Oh. Yeah, so you're going to mm -hmm. sight a target, uh -huh. and there's two things this is going to tell you. It's going to tell you the distance of the target. Oh, shit. Right? I see a lot of cables right now. And the second thing it's going to tell you is the angle you're shooting at. Because if you're shooting down at something or shooting up at something, that changes the uh, the ballistics calculation. Why do you put a battery in there, bad boy? I, I, I do not know. <laughs> Maybe somebody in the broadcast has already uh, looked this up online and figured it out for this us. This might have to be part I have, of... I have never seen one of these before in my life. This but, this might have to be part of uh, episode two, guys. Assembly and understanding of materials. <laughs> what, what, oh, nice. Well, I didn't tell you. Well played, young man. I am an He's an engineer, guys. 
and I he know engineers. I, I've learned things. how to I've learned how to put batteries things. in things. There we go. There we go. There's a battery in there now, mm -hmm. and and there's a thing button here called mode. Mode. And we put mode on. Look at you. Look in the hole. And the, look in the hole. <laughs> and um, I, that's as far as I've gotten. Great. Okay. But that's the first piece. You want to put that in your I don't backpack? Don't want to be looking at it when there's a laser going. I, I was worried about that myself, actually. <laughs> I'm like gonna <laughs> lose my eyes. Oh, look. He's a one-eyed sniper. <laughs> yes. Guess, guess you only and maybe need one. even in episode two, we'll see the rifle. Oh, was there a rifle involved in the show? Yes, there's a I, rifle. I thought we were doing a review of a six-hour Elo 2400 laser rangefinder. Oh. That thing will see, uh, will will see out close to a mile. How did you put it in, and how do you get it out? Well, battery? Yeah. Well, why, why do you do want you, to? you, like, push it down? No, or? You, you flick that little tab up and twist. Oh. And then it goes back down. Okay. Okay, so you got your little. Great. Great. Okay. You okay. Put, put, put that in your little thingy, and uh, you can put it, you can add it to your pack. Be okay. Or you, just, you can oh. just leave it out. I'll put it in my it pack. That's, that's why I'll you need a pack. put it in my pack, okay. young man. All right, so now, now. Right next to my uh, empty we're, case. We're moving along here um, at some point. Uh, you you now know how far it is, okay? You know you know how far it is, okay? But if it's if it's like a thousand yards away, mm -hmm. that that's like shooting at something this big, okay? How, how are you gonna possibly see that? Uh, if I hold my breath and clench every muscle in my body, including my All sphincter, right. All right, well, and okay. squeeze my eyes as hard as I can, <laughs> maybe I'll see something. What do you think? I don't know. I think oh you boy. need. I think you need one of these. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh it's, it's boy! Not, it's not a tikka yet, but it's part of the system. It's part uh, of the system. I'm not going to give you. I'm not going to give you a, a knife. Okay. Because I get out knifed by Hold you. Hold on, I have something. Oh, here it is. I almost didn't see it there. Uh, um, <laughs> that that that's not a knife. You're you look concerned. Yeah, <laughs> I like you look my concerned, eyes. Concerned, guys. Uh, okay. Yes, this is very sharp. Good. Sharp as hell. Okay. Mm, how much did you requisition this for? Uh, this was all part of what came in this <sighs> thing you procured. I think you probably put down Tika TAC A165 system. Okay. And you got the system. Holy moly object. What'd you get there? Okay, so we have the flip up eyepiece cover for the Night Force rifle scopes. Ooh. Ooh. Flip up covers. We have the precision accessories for the night force. Hold on, I'm going to switch over. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we've got the. Uh... We have the. Uh, I think this is the uh coffee cozy. Oh, it's a coffee cozy. Uh huh. Oh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Which, in my opinion, is brilliant. Uh, we have the. <laughs> we have the. 30 millimeter ultralight unimount. Uh, it's 1.5 inches. Mm -hmm. A unimount. Yeah. Okay. Did I say oh. it wrong? Yeah, no. It, it, it sounds good. Okay. 20 MOA. So it adjusts the scope down can so that it? so that you can shoot up, so to speak, by okay. 20 MOA. So, so I, I think this way this the works is you, look, is, is you peer through that hole, uh -huh. and that's how you find your target. Isn't that the way that works? Here. Oh, thank you. I get the box. Ooh. I don't think so. This is actually just an attachment. Oh, okay. Mm. It's an attachment unit. Mm. And oh, cool. then There's we the chop, chop. Chop, chop. Uh, Can I open this? Read the instructions on proper scope mounting. You can read the instructions on proper scope mount. Not on this broadcast. Whenever you would like. <laughs> Not on this broadcast. No, on this. Please read the, the so operating manual before use. I don't even have this on here right now. Shooting might be hazardous. <laughs> no. <laughs> Missing the target might be hazardous to we, someone's health. We warned the consumer. Yes. And we're, now. We're no longer <laughs> liable. And now this is so still stupid, they might just die anyway. Oh my god, it's popped open. Hold my beer. Watch this. See this? Holy shit. Brilliant. 
Isn't that cool? Brilliant. It popped open. Oh, yeah. And now we have... Ooh. What do you have in there? I think this is actually more expensive than the gun itself. Yeah. Am I, think, I right? Yes, it is, actually. Uh, okay. Scopes often are more, are. Expensive, more expensive than could the you, gun. Could you please show this to everyone? Wow. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Cool. Cool. Here we have like a little pamphlet. A pamphlet. Okay, so it's... Maybe it's, um, all right, so one now, of these. Huh? Huh? Oh, yes, huh? that, can, ooh, go, that ooh. can go in the back of the mini. And that way, people won't cut you off in traffic. That's right. Yes. People won't cut yes. me off. All right. So, so Those basically, pricks. you take your laser rangefinder. Mm -hmm. You've got that. You figure out that something's a thousand yards, mm -hmm. and then you take this and you you find it. Way this is this will this will make you feel good. Look okay. at this adjustment tool. Look oh. at this exciting adjustment tool here. L look at Los Angeles. Hold it. Hold it about uh, four inches away from your eye. And look at LA. We we can holy actually see LA out there. Holy! Yeah. My God, is that Juan? Yeah, no, there's somebody standing on a Juan! Roof, rooftop. Juan, Juan, is hola, that... hola, cómo está? Hola, he's standing. He's standing right next to the uh, Hollywood sign. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Uh, about twenty miles out. This is so. insane. I don't even know what it's scoped at right now. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> I'm not going to touch anything. We it actually works. have a view behind the cameras that goes out over Los Angeles. Oh, guys. my gosh. That's unbelievable. So this yeah. is a five and a half to 22 power scope. It's like the cleaning with cloth. A, with a. Uh, Ooh. This looks Where so did you pull it? I don't know. It's like a little. It, it looks like somebody tissue. threw up. A little tissue. It's like a little, little mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you, just pull, you just pull that out. Is that what I you did? I just pulled it right out. <laughs> Okay. You know, so it's got a 50. I'm, it has I'm being a, a guy. I pulled it has right a out. 50. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay over there? <laughs> uh, with a 56 millimeter objective lens, it brings lots of light into the scope. One of the problems with scopes mm -hmm. is when you don't have enough light coming in, the image is very dark and you can't see anything. Yeah. And the whole purpose is you got to see your target. So, very right. large diameter front, 5 to 22 power. Beyond 22 power, it's very difficult to hold a scope still. So a lot of people will will actually even shoot at ten, maybe fifteen power. Mm -hmm. This goes out to twenty two. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are competition scopes where people will put a sixty power uh, on their rifle, and what they're seeing for the most part is they see the little dot moving around. It's so hard to hold it still. In fact, so hard to hold it still that even something like heart rate has to be taken into consideration. Because if your heart is pounding, hold on though, hold ever on. so slightly, you're moving this, up and down. This, according to um, you know everyone else on staff here, I've heard stories that your heart rate is in fact the lowest and slowest heart rate on staff. I've I've been declared also, nearly dead most of the time. And also, yes, the lowest so. and baddest bleepity bleep heart rate. Yeah, to the my, west my, of heart, the Mississippi. my heart rates. But the important thing, since you're the shooter here, we, we got to make sure that you're okay. That First, your let's look rate. at yours. Let's see if you're even alive. Someone said that you're like part vampire, part <sighs> zombie. What's so uh, let's toss it on you and see. Yeah. So when you're when you're shooting, you have to be very still. So this will help put this on the right way. Also applies to the bullets. You put them in the right way. I, as well. I drank the rest of my coffee, but did you need blood? Like, you know, I don't I don't know if there's any of that. Like. Just chilling in the in the fridge. Well, let's show everyone how dead you are. See? I think that this qualifies Nothing. you. Thing. I know it's not do even I get, on. Do I get government payments if I don't have a heart rate? No. File a death. Mm, yes. <laughs> um, here we go. The truth. The truth is coming out, guys. Uh, so so having a low heart rate means that the also, I guess it depends on heart rate variability, but the time between heart rate heartbeats is longer, and so then you have more time to set up for that shot. <laughs> Pull the trigger right between the heartbeats. Now let's see what yours is. I think I heard that yours is typically in the high 40s. Look, guys, he's gone into meditation mode. He's gone into full-blown meditation mode. Oh my god, I'm very excited. Wow, it's very high. I'm very excitable today. I heard that yours gets doing, into the 40s. Doing this broadcast is, is make me very excited and I'm it's 63. I mean, 63 is athletic. My um my clearly, my, heart, my heart rate normally is clearly, is, clearly is, the broadcast is, has brought you back to life. Is, is brought me back to life. Yes. Okay. 
I, normally I'm in the, 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 Who the, wants the to mid to see mine? and <laughs> low fifties, and I've had people not even be able to find my heart rate. Which means I can get the government payments over. Ha. Brilliant. Ha. Brilliant. Okay. Let's see what Quad's doing here. Yeah, let's see what's mine. Let's go for the official Quad. Is she alive? Is she alive? Is she dead? Oh. You can't speak Why? you're having your heart seven feet out of the floor. Are you thinking about a happy place? Are you in a happy place where there's nothing but flowers and sun? Little children running around. Oh, damn those little children. Okay, don't think about little children. I get it. You're not allowed to laugh. So you shouldn't be sitting next to me. And eventually there will be a DJ involved in this programming. But in the meantime, I want to make a commercial announcement for Crystal Guys Water, the official water of Launchco TV. When, what is it? When they sponsor us. 65? Yes. Oh, wow. Holy shit. You're, I'm almost as dead as you. You're almost as dead as me. I'm 63. <laughs> and you're, you're, you're like way down there. Oh, that's fantastic! Oh my gosh! Okay, so you 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 can be a Beautiful. sniper. You can you you qualify to be a sniper. I qualify. Holy you know, shit! Low heart rate. You know, guys. Clearly, get, I could okay. give up about this right now. So, all right. So there, and, and I'm going to give you an, an official. What were you saying about children? I, I'm giving you an official night force sticker to go with your other official night force sticker. So you can put this on all Should of your I things. Should I put it like on my chest? I think you can put it anywhere you want. <laughs> Should I put on my new but backpack? If you put it on your mini, I guarantee you, fewer people will cut you off in traffic. <laughs> They'll be like, it's like, oh it's like I don't want to mess with that crazy God, bit. I'm not going to deal with that person. Okay, so that's the scope. And and so here's here's the basics of how, how the scope works. Mm. You have um um two things up here. So you're able you to put it on you, the gun, okay. you point the gun down range, you put the you bullet put in there. the chamber, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. you aim it. And so <laughs> When you're moving, when you're moving the knob, That's what you're how doing works, folks. is you're moving the internal optics up and down. The scope yes. doesn't move. You were talking about the 20 MOA okay, so adjustment I'll get to, I'll automatically I'll, goes into I'll this. explain MOA in a, in a little bit, but, mm-hmm. but this is already sort of starting by canting this thing down. Yeah. When you cant it downward, okay. what happens is when this thing is mounted on the gun... Let's pretend this is the Dika she's not going to get. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm still so going to get it. Oh, this what do you is, mean not going to get it? This whole show is a fake. I don't believe. What do you mean it's I a fake? I don't no, believe. No, my Tika is in one of these boxes. You I, shut your I, mouth, I don't young believe man. Procurement. Talking to me like that. And, and I don't, if we get a Tika, mm-hmm. we're going to get hurricanes. So there it is. Yes. So I'm hoping you get a Tika. And we're going to race them. I'm, I'm and still, I'm going to win. Still and you're going to pay me $1,000. All right. So when it's on the, the gun, what you want to do is you angle the scope. Uh, like this. So this is the front of the gun here. Okay. You're angling it. So when you look at your target, the gun barrel is actually pointing more up because mm-hmm. the bullet actually flies in a trajectory that's an arc. Yes. And so that's why you adjust the scope. Gravity. Uh, and what, what you start off by mounting it at a slight angle, and then internally it's moving the optics up and down to add or subtract to the angle. Right. That's the way that works. And then you've got to count for windage. So if there's a, a wind... That's blowing from, uh, uh, say, west to east. We have a Foley artist at the table. ASMR. Um, ASMR. Oh. Uh, yes. They all, they all fell asleep. They all fell asleep. I'll bet they didn't. <laughs> you, you obviously want to move the optics left, right to account for wind. Mm-hmm. So these are uh, what's called clicks, and you click the, and you rotate the um uh, the clicks up and down left mm-hmm. right that allow you to then adjust the scope but so that's why i'm saying you have to stop and calculate it yes right it's all part of the, the system ballistic software was for yes the ballistic software we're going to get to that ballistic software okay. all right so uh what what should we do next here all right so we've got yourself a okay uh, so we have the beautiful i don't night force that's why it says, okay, this is a little cheat I sheet for you. I requisitioned this Here. as part, of the, oh, as part of the whole punch. So. I'll, I'll hold that in front of it. It's the Night Force pump, pump, NSX pump, pump. 5.5 yeah. to 22X 56 millimeter objective. Okay, good. And by the way, uh, you can also have a little sunshade on it. A sunshade, yes. yes. Put my sunshade on it. Okay. Put your sunshade on it. Where's the on? one that goes on the far end over here? Is uh, well, it, it, this, is, this is called a broth. That's actually the. Technical I'm sorry, term. I don't know what that means. Uh, yes, there. It, it's it's something you can wear on your scope. 
Put I your, don't know what put, this word means. Why, God, put your bra on. How dare you? Put your bra on your scope. How dare you talk about my scope like that? <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, this is, this is, all right, you're putting your bra on. Yeah, wow, well, everybody. This a will broadcast. be the only time that you ever you're see You're actually this. seeing Quad God put a bra on. I'm putting my bra on. That's, that's really amazing. I'm so proud of you. Until I take it off. Yes. Okay, everybody. Quad God is going to I am now take off her bra. My bra. Oh, which I means will now take off my view, bra. Viewership just spiked to six hundred. Oh, are people out there that shallow? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> okay. Right, guys. Right, guys. If, if this does what I think it's supposed to do, mm -hmm. I think it's supposed to screw on the end. <laughs> Yeah. Not sure this, this is a little perfect bigger. storage here. The delicate procedure. Right. You don't quite have it. If it doesn't go one way, then try the other. <laughs> you Lefty don't righty. quite have it. Uh, this is very, very fine screws. Yes. All right, we'll come back to that later, but this is the, the, called the sunshade. It's and a very you, fine screw. And, and then you've got your... Um, very. Are we talking about screws? Yeah. Okay. All right, then we've got... Um, Oh yeah, the flippy thingy. And then we got the flippy thingy. My eye patch. Yes, yes. You hold it up and show them how it can flip. It's sort of like you could you can mount a couple of those on your sunglasses too. That'd be kind of cool. Yes, <laughs> there it is. All it's right. It's a new age eye patch. Okay, so uh, where are we? We, we, we? All right, we've got the uh, we've got the measure the distance. Mm -hmm. We can now see the target, but you got to. We can now see what we're but shooting. You, you have to calculate. How many degrees Mic up, drop. down, left, right, and, and how are you going to do that? Uh, well, you know, that's why we have you, Bob Camp, so that you can push your tech. What am I doing with this? Well, you got This gotta, is not you, the Tika. You're going to have to make some calculations This now. doesn't look like the Tika to me. Uh, the Tika is out there somewhere, I think. I mean, out Maybe. there somewhere. Maybe. Um, well, maybe there you uh, work on that. I'm gonna see if I can attach this. The blue sky, the tiga is existence. I had not decided which word to use, and I don't know where nor why. Okay, hmm. open. That's me. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. we have a rotating vein mount. Oh, you're so vain. <laughs> you probably think this song is about me. Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're so vain. We're going to fly our Learjet that we're going to procure. Ooh, and my Nova Kestrel Scotia. ballistics weather meter a with a Hornady 4DOF. All right, All right they, okay, okay, you got oh. A. You want to do the... Uh, yes. The honors. The, the up front. Okay, there it is. So this is the Kestrel 5700 ballistics weather meter with Hornady <laughs> Ford off. Hornady Ford off. <laughs> That's your software. You're going to load that app on your phone. Load that app. And so what you can suddenly stop playing Division 1 uh -huh. and go out and measure the distance, uh -huh. uh, sight people in, but you have to know all these factors. Yes. And the factors include things like wind speed. Right. Okay. So watch, watch how this works. This okay. is really cool. Watching closely. All right, you you flick this little thing open, and uh, can you see that? Uh, yeah, perfectly. There. All right. So, if you can't see it, speak up. This is a little weather vane thing. It spins, and so you point this in the direction of the target. Uh huh. And uh, uh, you get your wind. Yeah. And the wind direction gives you. It's also a compass. It's an altimeter. It measures humidity. Measures it's a GPS. I it's got blow longi on it. longitude and latitude. Wow, you could just sit there all day at your desk and watch that. <laughs> it's like better than watching the grass grow. Yes, and it's also better than using yeah uh, my stapler. Oh, what's this? That looks like a stapler. I don't know. This looks like a very complicated item. What is it? It's a Kestrel rotating vein mount. Oh. Hmm. It's like, it looks like it. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the. Oh, it's not the. Oh, the Western. Like, okay. you put the thing. What is it? Well. <laughs> right. This will part be also be part of the assembly 
broadcast Some we have assembly. an episode this is episode one this uh, is the require. grand unboxing episode oh, two on. is the grand assembly oh, episode on. three will be oh, the I'm, grand I'm, I'm, I'm getting there hang on there it uh, is there it is there it is the engineer the engineer the has grand flanking? figured it out there it is can you mount that Ooh. And it tells Sexy. you wind direction. Look at that. It tells you wind direction, wind speed. But does it shoot bullets? GP. I think you can shoot it with a bullet, but no, I don't think per se. Let's really? Hang on, hang on. Let me sort of dial them in and see if I can shoot them with them. Okay, so that's that's what that is. And so this gives you the coordinates that you have to put on here. It actually calculates that, but it also has this was a this this product's actually only been on the market for two weeks. Um, what it has all two the, weeks, two weeks. How did I manage to get this in my requisition request? I don't know. Beautiful. You, you must have filled out and requested it. I must have so, requested the right damn so thing. So what you do is it gives you the, the it takes all the environmental data, uh -huh. including geo coordinates, uh, longitude, latitude, compass direction, altitude, uh, humidity levels, uh, wind speed, and all that. Can it we measure that now? It takes the bullet data. So if you're shooting a certain kind of bullet, you log that in, and it pulls up from file all the bullet ballistics data in terms of, you know, muzzle velocity, wind resistance, and much like that. And it does the calculation, and it just tells you to turn this little clicky thing here that way, turn this little clicky thing that way. Oh. It, it just did all the work for you. Is that the technical term? To, yes, the, 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 the clicky thing. Okay, great. Yeah, those are the clicky things. Okay, can we open the gun now? Uh, what gun? The Tika 6.5 Creedmoor. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you got your distance. He's playing with you, me. You can you can sight it in. You you then make your calculations and you take a shot. Yeah, uh, with what? But you can't see where it went. That you're shooting at something that's a mile away. How are you gonna see that? I don't know. All right, so we got a luck. Uh, hang on. I'll just ask the be. genie. Oh, I'll oh rub no, the no, wait, 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 wait. Before before we go anywhere. Genie, you, you can't just. Hold. I'd like you to show me how far away my target is and what are my ballistics okay, you, calculations. You, you know, you can't hold this thing stable. Okay. Without something like that. Mm. Oh, okay. This is actually important. Uh, I think it is. This is actually really important. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I guess I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Yeah. Yes. You haven't. You have. You got to put your system together. It's, it's basically system. open. There's no unboxing needed. Look at it's. Look at see. Done. Unboxed. Next. You're Where's right. the gun? You're right. It's an unbagging party. <laughs> <laughs> Technical. Technical. Ugh. All right. So we're not unboxing Ugh. now. We're unbagging. Unbagging. Okay. Ooh, you got another. Ooh, another you, sticker. You got, a, you got an an oh. atlas an atlas bipod. Isn't that? Yes. So I so think cute. again this on the back of her mini with a, with the night force scope logo and a bipod. I think. People are just not going to mess with her. No one's going to cut you off. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Don't you usually cut people off? Yes. Yeah. I, I was going to say, you, you're you not the one doing the, uh, they just won't get angry and try to follow you. And if there's like a really big like yeah. semi or like a tractor yeah. trailer or something, yeah. that's when I get really vicious. I just start driving all over them. I'm like, okay. oh, why so, should I put up with you? So this little. I'm you, in a Mini Cooper. So, <laughs> rage. So the little legs come out like that. Mm -hmm. And then you. Uh, uh, hanging. I'm hanging oh, by oh, here, here a here bare thread. There we go. That's how it works. So you can set that up. <clears throat> and the <clears throat> non-existent Tika sits on top of it here. Yeah, non-existent. <clears throat> here, take your Tika. This is not a Tika. And then practice. Here, hold that. And you can put your scope on the Tika uh -huh. like that. And uh -huh. you're, you're having fun now. Whoa. Yeah? yeah? Whoa. No. no, all right. Well, that's Whoa. that's the whole idea. So, okay. So this little uh, this little bipod goes up and down. You, Look, you, you, in your spare time, you as you're sitting at your your desk with your stapler, you can play with your okay, bipod. Has... <clears throat> All right. What next? Okay. So now, now, you, now you take a shot and you can't see where it went, right? Ooh, so what, what good is that? Kind of fun. <laughs> what good is that? Just plinking without knowing what you're plinking. So oh. You, so you need one of these. Now that's in a scope. box. That's in a box. Oh my God, I'm making it <clears throat> hot. Really? Yeah. No, you are. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is the Vortex Viper HD spotting oh scope Lord. because you got to see where oh it is. Atlanta. This is a 60 power scope, which is what you need. This is only 22 power. So you still may not even be able to see where the bullet <laughs> hit. You need one of these. 
you, bonding skill. Do you do you understand now why you need a backpack? Yeah, yeah, for all okay. this you stuff got, to put your bleepity bleep stuff. In. All my bleepity bleeping bleepity bleeping stuff. So endless somewhere boxing. In. How do I get into this thing? I, I have no clue. I've never been in it before. Can we requisition for some kind of a manual for opening this? A manual for opening the bleepity bleep. The bleeping box. <clears throat> Ooh, look at it. Cuts like butter. 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 Like two sticks of butter. Put together in a rough few manner. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to clear oh. some junk off the table here. Okay. Hmm. Apparently, it gets its own clothing. What is it? Clothing. Oh, it comes with a bra as well. God. <laughs> Every, everybody around, wears a bra. Except, almost almost except, everybody around here is wearing you. a bra. <laughs> except you. I have my own. Oh. Yeah. I didn't see it. All right. Well, that's cool. So we, we, we've got a nice little, uh, a little look good on you, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Okay. It matches your black shirt. Yes. Black on black. Black on black. Black on black. Black on black is back. Are right, we what, so what, the what, men and women in black right now? What is in this thing? I'm busy looking at the manual. Something down here too. Oh, Ooh, this is actually little... a really nice manual. Oh, good. Here, take a look. I'm glad. Some of these things don't have manuals, and it's like, uh, how do you use it? Like, uh, with I don't a- understand. Astro headphones, for example. Astro how headphones. Make it do, uh, <clears> da, da. <throat> okay, switching back. Look, you get a little hat Close with up. it. Close up. This is the first <clears throat> item. There you go. Mm. You get a little hat with it too. See, little tiny hat. And I think this is a very tiny beer holder. Or a tiny beer. But I don't think it's anything. <clears throat> okay, so what's this? What's this? Yes, my little my little my little hat. <laughs> my little beer holder. Look, we have another cleaner. Is that for this thing? I guess it's good for that. Another little wipey majigamabob. You really like those wipes. With wipies? a recyclable plastic okay. XYZ. Okay. What else do we have? Urgh! Here it is. Here it is, folks. Here it is. Big Mama Jama. All right. So this is your spotting scope. So yeah. now when you when you hit a target, yeah. and you now need to look at the target, <laughs> you can you can see it. So it looks like there's something that unscrews here. Yeah, along. Why would we want to unscrew anything? Oh. I don't know how it works. I need to read the directions. <laughs> okay. But, You're like breaking it, don't you? Yeah, why do you not? Okay, this is going to go on here, obviously. You're going to be able to look through so there. So this is less expensive, see. I believe, than the actual gun itself. Yes. So if we break a it, little then bit. we could just bit. requisition a new yes. one okay. without much difficulty. Oh, and th- this also mounts on a tripod, so you can... You can sit while you're shooting, and you can also, and, and the angle lens allows you to like, be off to the side and see where you hit, so, mm. in case you don't have a spotter. May Lord help you. Yes. It's a good Lord. Every girl needs a good spotter. <laughs> um, okay. Spotting dick. Uh, gosh. What? what uh, are we talking about British desserts now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here. Here's a little white thing. What do I need this uh, for? Okay. So, my tears? Uh, all right. My so, tears um, of sadness? <clears throat> Um, wow, I guess that's everything. So thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, it's been a wonderful show. And Is this the part where I beat you uh, with the Tika? Oh, okay, so I need to get something to defend myself. All right. Yes. Uh, so there's probably a box nearby that you could defend yourself with. Oh, look, there's something. That's what I thought. Whoa. That's what uh, I thought. Uh, 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 Ooh, uh, what? Uh, yes. Uh, here it All is. Right. Yes. Yes. The day of reckoning. Is this the top or the bottom? Uh, I have pretty ne- sure this is the I, bottom. I, I've never opened it before. I do Here, not know. Help me. I do not know. I do not know. Uh, pretty sure that this is. Is yeah. at the top? Yeah. Okay. And I'll try to move some stuff out of the way here. Um. Did you want to use your uh, scope bra or? No. Okay. Not today. Fresh out of interest. Okay. All right, good. So, uh, what, what do you got? What do Here you, got? you go. What's this? I don't know. Garbage. Here. 
Here you go. <laughs> Take the bra off your face. Oh my I'm god. A- I'm actually I'm actually kind of enjoying <laughs> having it on your face. Playing with your bra. Oh god. I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, guys. This is our big moment that we have all been waiting for. This is the Tika 9.5 Creedmoor. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me? Also, I didn't mean to uh, yeah, I'm sure. Um, so, uh, I'm going to be opening this box. And once we review this wonderful item, that will conclude episode one. Um, and then episode two is going to be the grand assembly. We're going to be taking all of these items and assembling them. Uh, episode three will be on a range and we will have to probably shoot that one separate from the actual live stream itself. So thank you guys so much for joining us. And here we go. All right. What do you got? More tape. Red tape. Yeah. Bureaucrat- bureaucratic procurement tape. God damn it. Tape. Uh, and episode four is when we drive the Lamborghinis <laughs> and we right. race them. And then you pay me a grand. Because Quad has figured out how to get the procurement then department. Then you pay me a thousand dollars. Get her whatever she wants. I slit my my throat on accident. Hit, don't don't <laughs> hit your arm again. <laughs> I, I've, seen, me again. I've seen you with that knife. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors? I got some bullshit story. I don't know if I trust you with this. <laughs> there we go. Let's put the knife uh, someplace where we won't kill ourselves first. <laughs> okay. But let's so. Uh, got here okay so before oh here move that move this out of the way mm-hmm. here put this on yeah put the other one on. <laughs> so before i open this i just want to say one last time guys gun safety is always key uh when you have a gun in your hand you want to uh be sure of your target um if that means that there's no target in front of you that doesn't mean that you're good you know a wall doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stop a bullet Especially if you're living in an apartment complex that's full of people, you know, like you do. Right? Right, Bob? Like I, you, I live in like an apartment, yeah. Yeah, full of people. I, I, I always, uh, I've been told to always point a gun toward the floor, which is uh, yeah, very Yeah, except if you're living the on the second floor, yes. the people below you, you know, are going to have a real bad day. So be sure of your target, keep your finger off the trigger, and, um, and oh, snap cap. We're going to talk about that oh, in a we'll minute. We'll cover snap cap, yeah. But which, which, keep the safe on if your gun has a safety keep it on and uh, here we go all right and there's nothing in it Ooh, oh oh my this? god it's, that's it oh look, look i feel like my mind is lying here, my can, eyes are lying to con- me right now control yourself <laughs> oh okay i'll put this on my uh yes. on the thing so that for, i first keep you go on my you, you, on my waist yeah. what's it called chastity belt yeah oh, i'll keep this on my chastity belt? belt okay very good I'm not really sure. Uh, can I have the that. keys? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so, guys, I'll be auctioning this. Oh, later. Yeah, shut up. Get auction. it. Whatever. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> this is more adjustment tools. Okay. Adjustment tools. We, we have the butt. Uh, the butt extender. Extenders. That's actually, they actually what they are. are. Oh, my God. I need, to, I need to requisition for some butt extensions. <laughs> what do you think? A butt extension unit. That's yeah. all this is. It's Brilliant. a butt extension. We have ooh the magazine, okay. Ooh, time mag. Time, economist. What is it? Huh? Oh, that kind of magazine. All oh right. yeah, it's not time. You know, it's uh, bullets. You Bull- know, bullets. Okay. You know, like they do, put uh, bullets in here and then put it in, in the thingy. Okay, yeah. thingy. This is like the real unboxing. <laughs> this is the real unboxing. Okay, what's that? Not the fake five thousand boxes unboxing. This is the bolt. Uh, it comes separate outside of the of the rifle, and it's fairly easy to just toss it in there once you have all the clicky thingies okay. all figured out. Clicky thingy. Uh huh. This is. Oh, this is the. Hold on a second. Muzzle. Mm, muzzle. Hey, it's comp- a muzzle brake. Break, yeah, muzzle it's break. Muzzle break. Right. So when the bullet leaves, I feel like this is. I feel like we're are... opening a special on Division Two right now. Cool. It is muzzle break. Yes. Um, and then this is the actual gun itself. Weirdly inside of this. Okay. I'm gonna get this thing out of the way. 
Uh, you know, it's too bad that that you're the butt of these jokes. Who? You. I have the butt. You have the I butt. Have, I have. I I walk away from this exercise with both the butt you're and the up, bra. Up the butt. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a winner. Once again, gun safety at all well, times. I am going to be very cautious of where I point this end piece, uh, also known as the tip or the end of the barrel. The end of the barrel. So this is it, guys. This is the Tika uh, one, uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. You guys would like to see this close up here. It's quite heavy. As you can see, I'm flexed out at the moment. This is very serious hardware. Look at that. So Tika is a, is, a, is a Finnish company. Yes. And they are known for their machining and the precision of everything. Just the fit and finish of this thing is extraordinary. It's huge. It feels reviews. great. Yeah. Oh. So you want, you want to load it? Oh, it feels good. <laughs> All right. Well. Look, um, if we load it, we're going to load it with snap caps. Pointing it below the camera is, is a safe direction. Yes. You would like to do that. Thank you. And uh, so why don't you uh, just check that out. Mm -hmm. um, just don't shoot my cameras. Yes. I will not yes. shoot your cameras while they are shooting me. Yes. Yes. They, the cameras shoot back. Oh, my God. Finger off the trigger. Finger? Off the trigger. Oh, boy. All right. Now, do you know how to put the bolt in? I think I probably do. Okay, yes. The bolt is still not in. This bolt, yes. this gun is not capable of firing. I believe little, that you have yeah, to. I'll hold that up like this for you. Thanks, sir. And then no. You have to move this all the way through. Oh, that's right. That's right. Sir? Ooh, that's smooth. That is very smooth. Take that back. And then. You can take the magazine, mm -hmm. put that in. But here, I'm going to do this for you. Uh, it does, in fact, have a magazine already existing. Inside. This is not a real bullet. Yes, that's correct. That is called. Doing up close on that. This is a. This is what's called a snap cap. It's a. It's a dummy bullet, and it's used for testing a rifle. Snap cap. Um. The the uh, primer here is actually just a piece of rubber. Rubber. And you would rather put a dummy bullet in your gun to cycle through and test the trigger instead of a real bullet, which if it blew up and something was wrong, would kind of give you a rather, rather bit of a headache. Yes, but Bob Champ, why would we want to go through the trouble of putting something like a snap cap in a magazine when we're trying to fry fire or just trying to oh, fire the gun? Yeah, okay, I've seen, you know, by the way, there are a lot of videos out there where people just start clicking, clicking, clicking uh -huh. the trigger. That damages the firing pin. If yeah. you don't put a snap cap in with a rubber uh, primer, you can actually damage the gun. But most people just get so enthusiastic about firing it, they don't. But think they about don't that. care. All right, you want to put that in? Thanks, sir. That's got you have this two. This is the snap cap, snap cap, and there are two of them loaded in here. These are rubber. They are not even blank. Literally, when the gun is fired with a snap cap in it, nothing happens. The firing pin lands against the rubber tip, and then, uh. Nothing fires out. Let's see, do I have this in the correct way? Yes, I do. Beautiful. Okay. Can, you see Can that? they see the chamber right now? Well, so if we put it on the other, the other um, camera. Mm -hmm. Take a look here. You can see the little uh, the snap cap down in there. Mm -hmm. And now it just popped into the chamber. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Beautiful. Okay. Good. So. Oh, it, it, it. There yeah, we go. Like that. Thank you, sir. And now that our snap cap is in position, I will do a dry fire. There's one of my neighbors I don't like over there. Can you, uh, there is no on? one over no, there. This is true. completely safe. Right. I am we sure are. of my target. I will now put my finger on the trigger. This is a two pound trigger pull, also known as a hair trigger. And that's it. Okay. And then when you uh, when you load the next bullet in, what happens? Hey. Would you Leaping. like to would you like to give it a little try ski? Yeah, yeah. A little try ski? Yeah. Oh, do I get the try? Yeah. Oh my god. Be sure of your target. Okay. Gentle with your how microphone. Do you, how, do you, how do you ask you? Oh, 
you carefully. Boom. And then you. Uh, Thank you, sir. There's your uh, snap cap. And there it is, and folks. I can the see, snap caps I can have see the, the saved chamber. our. The chamber is empty. Firing pin. Um, chamber is clear. Often you always leave the, the bolt open when mm-hmm. the, when uh, to make sure people understand that it's not. Loaded. And of course, uh, when we disassemble the rifle and put it in the. Uh, <laughs> The now necessary rifle case. Oh, now you need a rifle case. <laughs> That's right. Oh, okay. So we began at the end and worked forward. That's what right. we did. That's when you it's pull like the your, bolt off. This is like the in this place. top 10 countdown it's show. Yes. All right. So there you have it. So what do we do next? I mean, how do we uh, get this thing put together and fire it? What are, what, what are we going to do next? We Next, we are going to have episode two. This concludes episode one. The grand unboxing. Episode two is going to be the grand assembly of all of the these items. That you, we're losing you. <laughs> of all of these items that you literally just you have witnessed. Weapons. I've been trying to go that direction for a reason. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> Waving the knives around. <laughs> so including like um, the beautiful uh, bra cover. Uh, we're not going to be using that probably ever again on broadcast. But we're going to be using that for all these different pieces okay um oh so there is one last thing that we want to look at now that we have viewed this beautiful tika 6.5 creedmoor we have uh been very safe with it and we will continue to do so uh we are not going to load any bullets into this oh oh ammo let's talk about the ammo for that's exactly right okay we're not going to load any bullets into this gun no real broadcast but we we do actually have some sitting right behind us yes so this is what the um is, is the coast clear? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, can they see that? Maybe the other camera? Oh, let me switch. Okay. So this is the interesting thing. This is what a, what a Creedmoor 6.5 bullet looks like. Yes. And you can see how tiny that is. Interesting red tip you have there. Ah, very interesting red tip. It's, it's also, it's also um, uh, seconds as a, uh, does this as a, bullet as a roller the, ball does pen. Does this bullet have the drip? It's a roller ball pen. So when you requisition in the future, you ask for the roller balls. Okay, yes. got it. Okay. Um, what's interesting about the 6.5 Creedmoor is mm-hmm. it's not much bigger than a 22 caliber bullet. So if you can see these, this little thing here is 22 caliber. Mm-hmm. And this is the Creedmoor. And 22 caliber is tiny. It's is, is tiny. It's, it's a, a baby bullet. It's a baby bullet. It and, goes wah, wah, and, wah, and wah, we, all the way into the target. That it kills. When we talk about 22, it is 0.22 inches. That's mm-hmm. what a 22 means. Yes. When you look at a 6.5 Creedmoor, the 6.5 is a millimeter. Mm. That works out to about 0.26. Okay. So it's slightly larger than a 22, but only like, only a little bit so. The bullet is actually in the shape of a canoe and is very long, as you can see. Mm-hmm. So it's got a lot more energy uh, uh, packed in it. It's a 140 grain bullet. Mm-hmm. Now, Compare this to. Well, let's um, talk about what a bullet does, just briefly. What does a, a bullet, bullet do? when it goes when it exits the barrel, it is pushing the air, this pushing air out of the way. Now, let's say you were to suck all of the air out of the end of the barrel, then it would have no resistance. It would just go right through. Now. This is what he means by size of the bullet and how it's affected by the air that is flowing through. These bullets are very, very, very similar in terms of what they're pushing in terms of air. But in terms of how they actually are, this is like much bigger. I feel that the impact but, from this would but, hurt but look, my look, life. Look at how pointy that is. And that oh, little, yeah. the little red tip. The 22 is so inefficient looking. The red tip is actually plastic. Mm. and it is there for the purpose of distributing the heat around the uh, the uh, bullet as it flies. Okay. What and again, when precision shooting, when you're out over a thousand yards, a bullet flying a thousand yards actually gets very hot because it's cutting through the air. Right. As the bullet heats up, it starts to deform, mm. and therefore it doesn't fly very well. So what Hornady has done? No bueno. No bueno. So what Hornady has done is they put this little red tip on the end which is actually like a little heat shield. So as we talk about the, uh, the, the lunar, the, you know, the, the, the rocket and the lunar landing and all that today, yeah. this is like for re-entry. This is a little heat shield, and it keeps the bullet from deforming from the heat. Sexy. Um, compare that to this bullet. 
Okay. And that is uh, a 357 Magnum. And as you can see, it is short and stumpy and flat. I'm going to have you set these bullets back, actually. Okay. It is, it is short and stumpy and flat. Uh, point three, um, 357, mm -hmm. uh, 357 in diameter. And it's obviously when you compare the two of them, it's a it's 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 a a, a very feared bullet. I mean, three fifty seven Magnum is a very powerful handgun. This is a forty four Magnum uh, bullet. You can see how, again, it's very wide and very stumpy. Oh yeah. And as a result, it, it looks downright savage. It, it's savage, but it also doesn't fly very well. And, I wouldn't think so. And a bullet like this doesn't fly far distance. It's a huge bullet. It's 240 grains. Okay. So it's it's about 100 grains more than that in weight. But here's the interesting thing. Okay. Even though that's a heavier bullet, this might only fly 1,200, 1,400 feet per second. Okay. This one, with all of its aerodynamic shape and the, uh, the, the extra gunpowder it has in there, mm -hmm. this will fly about 2,700 feet per second. Wow. And so its speed, um, it's a little lighter, but it goes a lot faster. This actually has more punching power than that bullet. I was just thinking about how you were talking earlier, before we got on broadcast, about how fast the earth is moving. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. So and we, how fast we are moving on it. Yes, we are. And I was like, blah, 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 statistics, statistics, and calculations. Yes, so, so, all right, so, yeah, we... And there's a couple things about about all of this. I'm these, having flashbacks. These these, uh, these um, uh, nightmares. I think is what you said earlier. Yeah. Oh my God! I'm a, I'm being emerged in a I mathematics nightmare. I actually didn't nightmare. have any nightmares last night. That's unfortunate. I slept like a baby. You could have told everybody your night, like, your worst but, nightmares. But like better than a baby because okay. babies don't sleep well. So let me uh, let me put this under here because I'm gonna explain minutes of angle. Okay. Minutes of angle. I'm gonna so use this piece So we have um, just a practice target here. Okay. So when a gun like this, you measure accuracy and in terms of a measure called minutes of angle. Yes. And a, a circle has 360 degrees, and a degree has, is divided down into, I uh, think of it as minutes, like, like a clock. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're shooting at a, tar a target that's 100 yards out, uh, an MOA, mm -hmm. see if I can do this upside down, MOA, minutes of angle, a gun that shoots one minute of angle is is considered a very accurate gun. Okay. That means that in a hundred yards, it will shoot where, as the bullets are landing, it will the farthest bullet, the center of the, of the two bullets that are farthest away from each other, if you measure that, will be about one inch. Okay. About one inch. But this gun has a sub one minute MOA. This beautiful. High powered precision sniper rifle, the Tika 6.5 Creedmoor, has a sub one minute MOA. Okay. So, so let me explain what this means. Most guns that are one MOA would, at 100 yards, shoot inside this green circle. Mm -hmm. And so there would be, let's say, a bullet you know, that landed here, a bullet landed there. You measure center to center, one inch. That's a one MOA gun. Yeah. This gun is sub half MOA. Zero point. If I can do this way. Oh, 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 oh. Did that come out? Got to look at it. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a demented child. Ah, can I scribble on this? Can't you just okay. write upside down already? So a half an MOA <sighs> means that the bullets are all going to land around the circle here. Okay. And that at 100 yards is how accurate this is going to be. So when you measure. Sexy. When you measure. The center of two bullets, the two farthest bullets, mm -hmm. and it's always in a five-shot cluster. Okay. So you'll have these little holes here. You measure center to center, and it, it'll come out at one-half MOA. And so this is what – that's now set. The calipers are set for a half. That's what you're looking at. It is so tiny at 100 yards to drop uh, five bullets into that tight a cluster. And that's how they measure it. And I've seen uh, some videos where they've managed to drop these uh, these bullets into about a 0.3 MOA. Wow. So this, this gun, for its price point, is an extraordinary piece of technology. Sexy. 
So uh, we're going to see Quad God out at a rifle range at some point. Yes. She's going to show us how she can drop those bullets into a, into a something the size of a, uh, of a dime mm -hmm. at 100 yards, 200 yards, for 300 size yards, comparison, okay. 400 yards, for size comparison. 500 yards, and 600 yards. Very small. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. We, we will use the quad pinky as the standard of measurement. This looks like it's about one quad pinky in accuracy. Yes, okay, yeah, we, we will clean that up later, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, I think that is literally everything. I, I think it's everything. We can try to put things back. We have to assemble things so we can work on that. Okay. Um, but otherwise, uh, I hope people had fun. Yes, I hope you guys had a great time. Um, now we're going to open it up for some questions. If you guys have some questions, feel free, type them in the chat, say hi. And um, and definitely give us a like on our Instagram page. Uh, follow us on Twitter and tweet to us anytime. And um, follow us here as well on Launch Code TV. The next broadcast we're going to be doing is the Grand Assembly. We're going to be back either in this room or potentially we're going to be on uh, the, the yacht that we've managed to requisition. Um, oh, yeah. Yes. The yacht. I'm not sure how we're going to requisition that. Um. But <laughs> I don't know. We can sit up at the cabin in our Lambos and figure it out. Yes. That's, <laughs> people should feel so bad for us. I know. I know. We're so sad. Know. That's sad, sad. It's nice being part of a major multinational conglomerate like uh, LaunchCo TV. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Multinational, yes. international. Yes. Uh, super big. Very, very the well yacht, funded. The yacht might have blah, to go blah, to the blah, VP blah, blah. procurement for approval, but yes. well, that's okay. I'm Fair sure you'll, you'll fill out the paperwork just yes, fine. Yes, I will. And uh, it will all be very legible, and maybe I'll even type it out on my computer. All so right. uh, feel free to ask some questions and um, follow us for episode two and then episode three, which is going to be us firing this rifle at the range. Um, and uh, as I know, as, as I already told you, I'm Quad God. I have my own channel, uh, twitch.tv backslash Quad God. And then this is Bob Champ. And we do streaming out of the TCL Chinese Theater on Launch Code TV. So that's also what you will see on this channel. Tournaments with celebrities, uh, also uh, streaming with celebrity streamers. And I'm going to be doing one of those shows soon, which I will be the host of. And Bob Champ will potentially be on camera with me or doing a magic behind the scenes. I'll be doing magic. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? Uh oh, Rye Dog Storm. Hi, thank you for joining us. Um, and Lee Tokes, thank you so much for moderating. Um, Evil Woozy Bear, if you're not still on, I'm so glad you stopped by. But if you are still on, hi, how are you? I'm actually yes, thank you, thank you, Lee Tokes. Um, one above none. Hi, I saw your stream the other day. Great job on your stream. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, yes. So, what do you do? Like, are you a physicist? What is your deal? Oh, I'm a, I'm just a nerd. You're a nerd. I'm just a nerd. I'm an engineer. Yeah. And aren't I, you a chemical engineer? I'm a chemical engineer, so I learned how to blow things up, and uh, I've I've actually blown some things up, uh, but I otherwise still stay very interested in math and physics. So this kind of ballistic stuff is I could I could I could do a whole show just on gun ballistics and bore everybody to death. I might even get one follower. Yeah.